Yeah. Just watch me do like thousands. That's all I'm talking about. Alright. It's yellow. What is it? It's yellow on the front. It's. Uh, everybody and welcome to this special video from Yorkshire Railways. I hope you enjoyed that uh, funny little bit at the uh, start, just me and uh, my girlfriend Izzy talking rubbish on the platform. But uh, we are currently on the train and uh, it is currently about half past seven in the morning. We've been up uh, pretty early because we are going to go on our way to the NEC in Birmingham to go to the first ever uh, Key Model World Live exhibition featuring uh, Pete Waterman's uh, Making Tracks, The Final Frontier. Really, really excited about this. This is my first ever model railway uh, exhibition. And uh, yeah, come with me as we go on uh, the journey. So yeah, we made it really uh, safely to the NEC. Took uh, three trains to get here from lovely Sheffield. But uh, yeah, really, really excited. So I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to let you enjoy the show as uh, we did. So I hope you enjoy the video guys and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Don't be falling out, guys. <laughs> That's what they're doing.
I wanted to get the HST. I didn't realise that was another train. Oh, Mike. No, Richard, this isn't Richard's. No, no, no. This is Hornby magazine. I've never seen a contraption like that before. Only off of Amazon, mate. <laughs> is that how old the camera's thing? Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, that is. He's got a stand for it as well. Yeah, attached to a tripod. Really? Yeah. That's something I've never seen. I think it's about 14 quid off of Amazon. 14 quid? That's yeah. a bargain. <laughs> I think we should have a concert. <laughs> Red three, white is in and coming through fast. Red three, white is
So guys, I've just got back um, just a second really from uh, the NEC in Birmingham and that is at Key Model World Live and I thought I'd just share with you what I've picked up. Um, so most importantly, I bought some cork so that means we can get some more progress done on the layout which is brilliant. Uh, I have got in this bag here. A miniature spirit level just thought could be handy um, picking that up so uh, so yeah just like might be handy with building the model railway um, as such and at the same shop forgive me I forget which uh, store it was um, oh sorry I tell a lie it was the Squires Times so that's where I got these from uh, I've got a cutting board so that we don't have to uh, be amateurs um, as well as I picked up a leaflet for uh, a flexi light and magnifying glass but uh, but yeah I've got a cutting board so that I could do uh, more modeling and be a bit more professional um, let's have a look book wise book wise I picked this book up here which is railways around workshop and it's actually a gift I purchased for my uh, granddad because they live in uh, Anston and uh, obviously we're from Sheffield so uh, yeah Sheffield and workshop uh, areas I thought he'd quite enjoy that he likes history and things to do with local areas so as well as I'll probably nick it once he's done so um, let's have a look so we've got Backman catalogue we've got Key Model World live program um as well as another one that i nicked from my granddad and an akira scale catalog as well so yeah a few different catalogs um and cards but i can honestly say it's uh, it's been my first exhibition that i've been to and it was honestly um quite i'd say i say overwhelming really um i, I was very surprised with how much stuff will be packed into such a small space. Lots of stalls, uh, lots of layouts. Um, obviously there's the, the model aircrafts, um, the N-gauge layouts, the O-gauge layouts, um, obviously TT, double O. Um, so yeah, yeah, lots of different layouts and different themes being modeled in them, which is great. Um, then there was obviously lots for kids to do. Um, we did want to make um, like a scale tree, but uh, every time I went there was just like it, it was mega busy so we, we just didn't bother doing it in the end but um, obviously there was those kind of like fun activities to do out and about um, obviously they had the uh, the real scale uh, locomotive um, there as well um, as well as obviously the main attraction which was Pete Waterman's uh, uh, making tracks uh, the final frontier um, which uh, successfully won a world record so that's great for him and all the rail nuts as well as uh, obviously UK model railway um, or mo mo model railroading uh, because we have uh, now got the world record for the longest indoor model, ra model railway I think it was like 291 feet something like that someone could correct me if that is wrong but I'm pretty sure that is the world record at the minute so yeah absolutely fantastic so yeah I got to have a really good chat with uh, Richard from New Junction um, 
you know, absolutely charming fellow. Um, really, really great to meet him in person. And uh, yeah, he's just as lovely in person as he is um, on the camera. So absolutely uh, fantastic. Got to meet uh, Mike Wilde and Mike Chivers as well from uh, the Key Model World Publishing. Um, they were absolutely fantastic to talk to as well. Um, you know, had a really, really long chat with um, Mike Chivers um, uh, about obviously my layout and, um, you know, how it is going to the uh, exhibition itself. Uh, so that was really great. As well as I did get to meet Pete Waterman in person and he's as lovely as he is on camera as well. Absolutely fantastic guy and uh, yeah, really, really great day out in Birmingham. So yeah, I'd say uh, to anyone who didn't manage to make it uh, this year, um, or was a bit hesitant to go since obviously Worley decided that it wasn't going to uh, continue, uh, I'd definitely say, you know, Key Model World Live is a, a very fitting, um, you know, replacement in the NEC um, and certainly definitely worth a go. Um, and just bear with me one second, I'll, um, I've got a sneak peek for you. So, at great expense, I picked up something. Um, I'm going to leave it there, because I don't want to show you too much. Let's... Oh, <laughs> I'm going to blur this out. Um, yeah, I'm going to blur that out. But yeah, that's uh, that's all you're getting. So new review on its way. And I'm going to do that in a second. So anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, obviously a little bit different to what the channel usually is about. Um, and... Uh, I hope that, uh, you know, you definitely consider going to Key Model World Live in the future. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this or, you know, if you have been there yourself, uh, drop a comment down below. i uh, love to hear your thoughts on the show, um, as well as, you know, who you got to see in person and your favourite bits of the show. That'd be great to hear as well, as well as any models that you picked up. Um, so, yeah, drop all that down in the comments down below. Really, really would love to know that. Um, obviously, if you enjoyed the video, hit a like. That would uh, really grow a great stride, but you want one further. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, really helps me out massively. Obviously, in the YouTube algor algorithm, it helps me get found more out there um, so that we can build a better community. Um, and it's free to do so. So, you know, definitely um, give that hit, uh, subscribe button a hit if you haven't already. And obviously, you'll stay updated on the layout uh, that is continuing behind me, which will... Uh, Striving better now. I've got some cork. I can actually get some proper progress done. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll be able to stay updated on all that as well as any uh, model reviews that I upload in the future. But that is all from me today, guys. Take care. I hope you've had a lovely day, whatever you are doing, whether you've been to the show or whether you're just sat modelling at home. Um, and that is all from me. So I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.